want to show you how to go from a plaster face cast from a live model to a wax positive that you can use for casting. The materials that you need are a willing volunteer, a drop cloth, one gallon of water, plaster, and plaster bandages cut into strips, and Vaseline. Here we have my willing model with his Vaseline and his shower cap ready to protect the hair on his face from the plaster. Please would you go ahead and put the Vaseline all over your face. Very thick. Have your model lay down and get comfortable while you apply a final layer of Vaseline to the eyelashes. It is important to establish a good system of communication with your model, as this process is often strange and uncomfortable. Next, mix a relatively thick batch of plaster to dip your plaster bandage strips in. This is not always necessary, however I have found that a thicker plaster mold can be reused multiple times to obtain multiple waxes. Now you can begin dunking the plaster bandages into the plaster and smoothing it onto your model's face one section at a time. Ideally you will build up three to four layers of bandages before the plaster begins to harden. The trickiest part is the septum of the nose. Cut a few extra thin strips of bandage and very carefully lay a few along the line of the septum and around the nostrils. The breathing holes can easily be filled in later on with plasticine. Once a significant mold has been built up, the model will need to remain in their position for about 10 to 15 minutes. Playing some nice music for them will help them stay relaxed. When the mold has hardened, ask your model to slowly begin flexing their face muscles to loosen the mold. Gently tug at the sides and wiggle the mold free of your model's greasy face. Some discomfort, particularly around the eyes, is typical, so make sure to take good care of your volunteer before this next step. As you can see, I have filled in some of the bubbles and gaps, as well as sealed off the neck of my mold with plasticine. If your mold has dried, soak it in water for about five minutes, or until the bubbles disappear. Begin melting about five cups of wax at around 250 degrees and fill a spray bottle with mold release such as Murphy's oil soap. Spray your mold generously and dab up any excess puddles. For your first layer of wax, quickly pour enough wax to fill your mold and immediately dump it back into your pot. Now, continue pouring ladlefuls of wax and swirling them around inside of your mold to build up about a quarter inch of thickness. After your wax has cooled, it is ready to be liberated from its plaster shell. 
carefully work around the edges and tug your wax to pull it out of the plaster. Congratulations! You now have a wax mold of your very own face to be used for casting in bronze, aluminum, or even iron. And your mold can be reused. With a good amount of cleanup on some of the bubbly parts, you can get your face looking nice and shiny and ready to make beautiful art.